Today we're going to do an oil pastel and I have an image that has inspired this lesson. You may have seen this picture someplace in the school. I'm not going to tell you where it is, but if you know where it is, you let me know. This is our inspiration image and even though it is painted probably in acrylics, the colors are vivid and very conducive to oil pastels. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is to take out a piece of mixed media paper and tape it to our workspace. Since our inspiration image is horizontal, then we want to make sure and orient our paper the same way. Now the only color pencil that we're going to use is this um, light blue. It would be considered a cyan and it's a really uh, nice color to draw with, particularly because it's one of the colors that's in this image. And so the color is going to just blend in with the oil pastel. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to kind of map out our drawing. And even though this is a square and our um, the head of our cow is not exactly square, we're going to start with this and then we're going to adjust the shape so that everybody's is about the same size and so forth. So. Um, you can use any of the plastic, the color wheel, or the grid. Um, any of those will work because they're all the same size. We're going to put it right in the middle, um, halfway between the right and left sides, but we are going to bring it down about a third of the way from the top. So a third, a third, and a third, something like that. A third, a third, and kind of measure. You can even measure with your pencil by using the end of your pencil and then putting your thumb or thumbnail um, where it is. It's a really common way for artists to measure things. So um, close is close enough, but this next part you really want to think about. You want to have very light pressure. And since our color wheel is not completely on the paper, um, you're just going to trace the part that is on the paper, but again, very, very light so that you can barely see it. Very, very light so you can barely see it. I don't know, can you see that? That is super light. I'm gonna make mine a little bit darker, but you try to make yours as light as you possibly can. Very, very little pressure. Um, now this is going to help us position the eyes but and the nose. But you can see that um, the, if the eyes are here, the head comes up in kind of like a gentle cone shape. So we're going to just sketch going up and down from the corners up and down. And then the nose actually isn't straight down, it kind of cants in. So we're going to come down here. You see it kind of comes down at an angle and then the nose is nice and big here. So where the edge of your card you, that original line on both sides. We're going to start there and come up, and kind of come across, kind of come down at an angle, like so, okay? You might even come out a little bit with the eyes, come out a little bit with the eyes. The next thing that we're going to kind of lay in are the ears. It might help 
to notice that the ears are, they're not a circle, they're more like an oval. They come all the way out to the edge of the paper and touch the edge of the paper. But they start just a little bit above where the eye is, they come all the way out and it's kind of an oval and they come down. So I'm going to make the ear uh, right where the card corners were, the corners on the card, we're going to go out and then down. You can draw really lightly and kind of soft shapes. And if you need to erase, this pencil will erase as long as you haven't drawn really hard. If your pressure is light, then you can erase it, no problem. All right, so we're going to come back over to the corner, the upper left corner of our card. Do a little dip down, and then just kind of the swoop down and then swoop up. And this almost like the hammock shape. Something like that. Now take a look at these shapes and see if they're symmetrical. Now is the time to change if you feel like you need to make an adjustment. I can see that this ear feels a little bit bigger, but I like it a little bit better. This feels a little bit less, and so I'm going to try to correct that and make them symmetrical. It's totally okay if your ear goes off, like in truth, my ear would be like out here under the tape and that's okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and block in the nose. So we have kind of his snout here, but the nose is more narrow and it has these shapes here and here. So we're going to go ahead and block in the nose it's going to be down just a little bit from that snout shape and kind of comes in on both sides and it has these nostrils. Now the great thing about this is that it's okay if it's not perfect, right? This is not realism. This is kind of a play off of that. We're gonna pl uh, block out where the eyes are. And if you look at these eyes, they're not straightforward. A lot of times people who are painting, they try to make every eye look like it's looking at straightforward, but it's not. This eye is actually shaped differently. So it is shaped like this, with the eyelashes that are coming out that direction. There's an oval and then another oval toward the inside of the cow. So we're gonna make the first um, circular shape. And then we're going to make this shape that's on the inside. That is kind of the shape of his eye. This is actually more oval. This is his eyelid coming down and disappearing behind that oval. Okay. Now we're gonna to try to do the harder part, which is making the same thing on the left-hand side. Though it might help to make very light guidelines going across. And then if you keep in mind that that oval, where it was in relationship to the traced card, the beginning, then that'll help too. Now we can lay in the oval of the eye 
Remember, really light, really light. Don't feel like every line has to be perfect to begin with. And then we're going to start with the inside of the eye and it kind of, the eyelid comes down and then it disappears behind the oval of the eye and it comes up disappears behind so that's his eyelid he actually has another one on top like that maybe another one down here you might take note that he has this funny little tuft of hair and so we're just going to kind of make some really light um, lines just reminding us to do that okay now there's a couple of lines you might want to erase at this point and that's the edge of the card here on the right and on the left side and then if you want to erase the lines that were uh, guidelines then that this is a good time to do that as well. Now look at your cow and make sure that you're happy with the sketch. Um, now's the time to make an adjustment to this sketch um, because once we start adding color, it won't be as easy to change. We're gonna work with the background first and looking at the reference image, it has this really nice, very light blue, green, white, beige, whatever. Lots of very light colors in the back. And then the cow itself has these very strong colors. So we're going to pick some very light colors. Our light kind of skin tone, our light yellow. Um, let's see, our lightest blue. Okay, now we're just going to get the background in and you can kind of uh, do as you'd like. Um, if you want to make it all one color in the background or if you want to do kind of this modeled. So I'm gonna take it kind of up to the edge of my cow I'm just doing the whole thing, this kind of uh, light orangey skin color to begin with. Ooh, it's looking good already. And I do like that there's some blue in the background. So I'm gonna um, just kind of decide, like it, it doesn't have to be, um, I'm gonna kind of like maybe focus on the, along the outside uh, and I'm overlapping. I did the whole thing that orangey color and now I'm kind of overlapping some of this blue, just kind of along the outside. It's just going to help kind of, mm, give a sense of the edge of the paper. I think that's gonna work well. You might decide that you want to apply the background colors in a slightly different way, and that's totally fine. I also have this light yellow, and I might just kind of pick and choose some places to add that in. It's just going to help my uh, image feel less flat. It'll have just a little bit of something interesting in it. Now, if you would like to use tissue paper, that would be fine, or I prefer the cotton balls. So if you would like to use whichever one is your preference, then 
and start blending the background. The idea is just that it's a nice, soft background. That's the rattle of my desk. <laughs> so noisy. And if you'd like to do another layer, for the background, you can, or you can leave it just like that. It's totally up to you. We just want to have the background be nice, nice and soft. It'll give us nice value uh, difference between the cow and the background. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is to go ahead and jump in to the dark for our cow. Lay in the eyes, and they are dark black, but they have a highlight in them. So one way to make the highlight is to make a circle and color in everything except for the circle. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And if you find that it was impossible to, um, to keep that circle from getting color in it, then it's okay because we could always add with um, like a white marker at the end. We could always add a, a little white. That little white is um, the glassiness of the eye and it's a highlight. So I'm just blending a little bit the eye. And then we're going to go ahead and our cow is blue, <laughs> which is part of why I love it. And there's some red in it and some of this brown. I think I'll use the lighter of the two reds, maybe a little bit of orange. These are mostly the colors of the dark part of the cow. So three blues. Maybe I'll take out one of these dark ones. And then this is called a burnt sienna. And then this is a red that's not quite the fire engine red. It's more like mm, the rose matter. And then this is um, your, your uh, orange, your basic orange. Okay, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of a shape to follow with these dark colors. So the dark colors are going to be coming up here. And I'm just giving myself little dashes because I don't want it to be a hard line. I want it to be a soft line. Coming down, starting here on his nose. It's going to come in just a little bit. And then it's going to come up and around his eye. And then up here. And remember, it's okay if it's not completely symmetrical because he might not be completely symmetrical. If you do want to make any changes to that little dashed line, then now is the time to do it before you get into the oil pastel. All right, now we can just add some color and have some fun. So we're gonna take this um, uh, kind of burnt um, sienna and give him a little accent here. We're going to do a little color around his eye and down here on the cheek we're going to bring that up and because this is fur right this is I don't know hair wait do cows have fur or hair I don't know well anyway um, think about the direction of your um, of your pen stroke or your oil pastel stroke and kind of try to make that kind of look and feel 
my hair by just the direction. So if it's coming kind of around his eye, and then if it's coming down his like snout, then the direction is really important, right? It can kind of help your uh, person who's looking at your artwork understand the direction of, of hair, of hair growth and how that's working like that. Okay, so um, it's okay if it's a little bit random, not a problem, not a problem. I'll put this over here, maybe pick up some of the red, maybe bring in a little bit of the bright red, maybe around his eyes. We're not like trying to make him look like he's made up. We're just uh, giving a little bit of color variation. Um, and then we're going to jump into our blues. So we have, we might even need our third blue. So we have the cobalt, the dark blue, and then this very light blue. We're going to put in the light colors first. And this light color is going to go over his eyes. This is going to go over his eyes. And it's going to come in here. And our dashed line is indicating hair starting in his middle of his head and going away. So all of our pen strokes or our oil pastel strokes are gonna start in the middle and then go away. Away from the middle. We're gonna do that on both sides. And we don't want it to be a hard line, right? These irregular lines are really helpful for us to help convey that this is a, a creature that has hair. Okay, and maybe some under the eyes. It's okay if it's looking a little bit weird, it's all gonna come together. Blue, this is like my cobalt blue, by the way, if you feel like um, you've been using one of your oil pastels and it's down a little bit um, next to the paper, then you can just rip off a little section of the paper and then we're going to kind of come in and again we're trying to do these um, hair like strokes okay and we're gonna fill fill in some of that area but again it's so important that you do the direction like the eyelids are going kind of up and over and the hairline here is kind of up and over so the direction of your of your uh, oil pastel stroke go ahead and get that so that it is going um, in the direction of the hair so that would be kind of under his eye if you have a pet at home a dog or a cat then especially um, like think about his the face on the dog or the cat how that hair the direction of the hair goes this is actually we're going to bring this uh, right on top of burnt sienna oh yeah that's that's gonna look good yeah it's coming together you just wait <laughs> It's okay to put some right on top of that burnt sienna. Okay, then we're going to go to our darkest blue um, for this particular one. Uh, again, I'm kind of going over some of this, darkening it, but trying not to just make it all one color. Um, I'm going to give a little bit more attention to the eyes. Um, I'm going to try to leave that little crescent shape of white and 
give some definition to the shape that was outside of that white. Because that little crescent shape of white is part of actually part of his eye. That's like the white of his eye. And so something like that. Kind of help define those eyes a bit. Okay. Now we can go ahead and take a look at the nose. We're going to do our three blues for the nose, light, medium, and dark. The lightest is this area right here on top of the nose. It's a, it's a highlight, basically. You can see what I'm looking at in here with that highlight. So right, uh, right here between the nostrils. And then there's the cobalt blue that goes right on top of that. And a darker blue. And this is kind of, a, this is not a, a hard edge, kind of a soft edge. That cobalt blue is gonna come around his nostril, around his nostril. And then the front, underneath that highlight, that is the darkest blue that we have. And do you see how that highlight helps the nose turn down? Oh, that looks so nicely. We might even get our black and do a, a dark right here inside the nostril. And maybe a little bit of black down here as well. Okay, so the nose itself is pretty smooth. So we're gonna come in here and kind of smooth out the texture of the nose, starting with the lightest part first. And it's smoother than the hair, but I'm kind of dabbing. I'm like touch, 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 touch. And instead of like doing, um, trying to make it super duper smooth, I kind of like the idea that it's a little bit glossy and, you know, it's not as rough as his fur, but uh, it's also, it does have some texture. His nose does have some texture. Most important thing is just to have this highlight, light, medium, and dark and then you're in good shape. You can go ahead and take the Q-tip and as much or as little as you would like, you can blend. Now this is fur, so I'm not gonna blend it nearly as much as say the back, uh, the background. It's okay with me if it's a little bit rough and if it has some like the different colors in it, I think that's what makes it interesting. But this is your cow, so you can kind of decide how soft or how rough the hair is. I kind of like to have it a little bit, a little bit rough there. All right, we're going to do the colors that are just on either side of the nose. So coming in under the nostrils is this burnt sienna color, or you could also use the uh, not quite fire engine red and kind of help shape that nose from the edge of the nostril and then kind of up. And then we're going to switch over to our lighter um, colors. So the color in here and the color around here, very, very light. How about back to our um, skin color and the lightest yellow and maybe a little bit of the lightest blue. We'll see. 
Okay, so going back to our light colors, the areas out here are going to be very light, so adding some of the beige and then some of the yellow. Oh, I like that. Adding some of the beige and then some of the yellow. Yeah, that yellow is great. It's okay if, if the yellow kind of grabs a hold of something else. That's all right. Um, just over his nose, I'm gonna do the beige. And it's gonna go right up his nose. <laughs> that sounded funny. <laughs> Okay, remember the direction of the hair that we talked about? So that's starting in the center and then coming out. And then we're gonna take that yellow and again, starting in the center and then coming out. Starting in the center and then coming, coming out. If you find that it's picking up too much, like, um, of your other colors, then it might be that you need to just wipe off your yellow or your beige. And then more yellow. And the tuft of hair is a little wild on top and it has some yellow has some beige gives him a little bit of character okay we're going to take our light blue and kind of just give some a uh, little furry um, edges here on the tuft of hair at the top and now we can come back in and you can blur or blend as much as you would like I like to have a little bit of texture so I'm not going to blend too much so back to the dark colors this is our reference okay so pretty dark out here might even get some more black. All right, so we're gonna start with our light colors and then get into our dark colors. So using either the Burnt Sienna or the uh, red, kind of defining it, um, the top and the bottom with these hairs that are coming out. And the way that you do these hairs is that you Hold, you push down firm, and then as you bring the uh, oil pastel out, you lift up. So he has kind of this furriness right next to his uh, head, and then it kind of like smooths out a little bit. Give him a little bit of red up there. Same thing on this other ear. Gonna help define it. With a little, the bright color is going to help us kind of see the shape and that the sun is kind of glinting off of it. And then these hairs again, press, lift, press, lift, lift, press, lift, lift, press, lift. And then and then it's not so hairy after just at the tips and we might get in a couple of other like bright colors so there's a little orange sometimes I just like lots of colors and we need our three blues our light medium and dark 
and we'll probably need black before we um, totally finish. So again, the top of the ear is catching a little more light. So there's a little bit of light blue up there, light blue just at the top. And then um, get into the darker blue. This is actually the cobalt. Cobalt. And then the darkest blue. This is that really dark. But it's not dark enough. We can have some of our dark blue kind of um, create little furries and fuzzies. So we're going to just bring those furries and fuzzies right over our red furries and fuzzies and then color in the rest of it. And we might even take this red and give ourselves a little red right next to his eye to help separate that eye from the rest of it. And I think we're going to need to get our black out and introduce some black. So we're kind of doing light to dark. Looking at mine and I'm looking at the original and it looks pretty good but I think that this part is significantly darker so I'm going to try to make it darker so I'm going to take my blue and kind of go over this area in here to try to make it uh, quite a bit darker and I might decide that I need to um, do a little bit of black in there I'm not sure Also going to just make my cow a little bit um, not quite so skinny. Ooh, that's better. See? See? Okay. Also looks like the eyes are a little bit That's pretty good. I'm going to do a little bit of blending on the ears. We're still talking about fur, so um, it doesn't have to be perfectly blended. You can kind of decide how you want to blend it, but treat the ears separate from the, the face. Having this like little red line in here really helps to kind of separate the ear from uh, the face and that's that's probably a good thing. Um, okay, so over here really love these kind of non-traditional, uh, non-realistic colors because if you think in terms of light and dark, the color itself that you use doesn't matter as much. Um, so you have lots of liberty. Oh, he's really cute. Let me take another look just up here. Give him a little bit more he looks a little more cone heady than I would like. Oh, 
Oh, he's super cute. Looks a little like a dog. <laughs> Maybe he's a dog. <laughs> this is definitely a cow. This kind of looks like a dog. That's okay. I don't mind. Cow dog. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and take off your tape. Remember that folding the tape back on itself and going super slow will help you if it starts to tear your paper, then you can stop and um, pick up from the other side. Sign your name. And 2021. Great job. I hope you had an awesome time.